Welcome to the Millennium Falcon cargo hold. Isn't that cool? Just being able to just go through this, look around. I'm very happy with that. So this is where we are so far. I've already teased the first picture of that in the closed Facebook group. So if you want to stay up to date with what we do, um, this uh, the, the closed Facebook group is the place to be. Uh, since it's such a democratic group, I always ask feedback and uh, input. So if you want to uh, put your five cents in and give suggestions or feedback, that's the place to do it. Uh, as for contacting me, always use info at jazzincdesigns.com. Please don't use YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, or the f Facebook page. That, that is just too many platforms to keep track of. And if you want a fast response, your email is the best bet. So basically, uh, let's start with a short history lesson for those who, because uh, many of us only found out, of us, out uh, found out about us in the past year. Um, I was asked to do the cockpit, the Falcon cockpit years ago, and uh, back then it still seemed like Hot Toys might do it, so I said no. And then I thought, well, there's more to the uh, the Falcon than the, just the cockpit, and I thought I could do the, the cargo hold. And back then, I was very much into um, making sure everything fit into IKEA-style displays, so this for Besta and Stuva, and that meant doing this part here. Let me find a picture, or I, well, I already found it for you. So uh, this is what we did. Um, by the way, if you missed out, you can, uh, we, we are doing a, a second run of this right now. So uh, for those who want just this or who want to get in on the entire cargo hold, you will need this as a first part. This is a good idea of what you're, you'll be getting. Uh, so uh, an undeep version of the Jiga bunk, the sleep bunk, then a uh, part of the back wall, um, a floor, the entire bench, bench with uh, light-up features, and of course the chess table. Um, and so people were digging that and they were asking us, can you do an extension? So I did this sh sketch. Uh, I found this image online. And so the first idea was just to make what you see in square two, which is just the, the mirror, the, the second half at the same depth um, with the um, the engineering or Navi computer, the engineering station Navi computer uh, with Hans chair. This is a, a pretty rough image. And then people were saying, yeah, but if you want the entire cargo hold, well, of course, then you would get this. So again, this is the standard cargo hold. We're doing a second run. The link will be in the description. Um, and then the extension is either this. And if you get the DX extension, you will get this together with this. So let's go back to the model now. Looking at the model, looking at it from the top, um, zooming out a bit. Uh, this is what it will look like from where we are now. Um, so you will get this bit. Uh, and then if you want the standard extension, you will get this bit and I will take you in uh, further. And then we're going to see how far the budget stretches uh, with this and of course the grates for maintenance and um, and these walls for the DX. Um, I quoted it quite kind of uh, tightly if you look at the huge, huge size of this. So I'm not sure if these like the scanner boxes and the cargo crates and the barrels are going to be included. And then people were saying, wow, I see you completely re-engineered the Diego bunk to make it uh, deep and, uh, and all that. Um, couldn't you do like an ultra version uh, where uh, the light and the uh, everything uh, is part of um, uh, yeah is, is part of uh, of the DX uh, like an ultra version? The answer to that right now is probably not because this is such an exclusive beast. People with um, deep pockets and a lot of space are able to fit this. Turns out in the pre-orders. Uh, Right now, the numbers are so low, and you have to have all the fixed costs for the prototyping, the design cost, my time, the, the um, molding uh, divided over a very limited number of people, so your budget is, is, is always stretched. And if you get more people on board, uh, you can divide the fixed cost over more people, which means there's more variable cost to make parts. Um, so who knows, once I start releasing this, these videos and um, showing uh, the prototype parts, then people might get on board. But for now, 
Um, it's just trying to see what I can fit in because uh, if you look at the engineering station we did now is very detailed. There's going to be light up features for all the things that you saw in the original video like this. So these are all going to be uh, light up lights. Um, and then um, there are if the budget allows there's going to be a, a second chair where uh, obi-wan sits maybe included there's a little extra computer here i think that's an empire uh, so i might be able to include that but again it really depends on the numbers guys because this is and girls sorry lots of girls in the group very cool um so this is this is this is huge it's it's huge people it's big you know it's gonna be the biggest ever it's gonna be cool it's gonna be but look at this so 36 inches by 44, give or take, something like that. Um, this wall, of course, is not going to be included, as you can see here. So, um, yeah, this is where we're at right now, working on the prototype uh, for this. The back wall, yeah, this is important. So, since we already did a part of the back wall, I was trying to figure out a way to get this made so that it, it attaches with a part that comes on top of it so you don't see the seam. I'm not happy with how that goes, so... I'm already stretching the budget by maybe including the entire back wall for those who get the extension kit so that it is a one piece. You can just swap out the old wall for the entire back wall. Who knows? Sell it on eBay. It's very cool. The uh, the old wall, that is. So, um, yeah, this is where we're at right now. Um, uh, if the budget allows, I won't be able to, I won't need to use the same part for these and then get the double... Um, pipes on the right side uh, the starboard side and then uh, uh, on the left side uh, have just the one like in the movie but yeah so what do you think of my sketch so far i think it's pretty cool